In our Health Watch report, this year might have brought on more anxiety than ever before. Local 3's Connie Fellman has more on how to ease your mind. The holidays, online work and school, and the pandemic. It's no wonder 40 million people say they are suffering from anxiety overload. So how can you ease your symptoms? Millions of Americans are out of work, socially distanced, and stressed. It's a recipe for anxiety. Definitely the school aspect for sure. The Zoom, having a proctored exam and things like that is just... Making sure I have a mask, making sure that they're clean. Nearly half of Americans say the coronavirus crisis is harming their mental health. And studies show disorders like anxiety can also have an impact on your physical well-being. In fact, 28% of people who suffer dizziness also had a form of anxiety. Other symptoms may include a rapid heartbeat, nausea, fainting, and muscle tension. To combat anxiety episodes, experts say exercise for at least 30 minutes every day. Try to get between 7 and 9 hours of sleep each night. Limit caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine intake. Practice relaxation techniques like yoga or meditation. Also, you might want to try acupressure. Studies show it can reduce anxiety. Of course, if your symptoms are severe, see a mental health expert to help you ease your anxiety. While anxiety disorders are treatable, only about 37% of people suffering receive treatment for their symptoms. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Thelman, Local 3 News.